Yo, what's good, hippies? Welcome back to another episode of Hippie Reacts. And uh, today, man, we're going to take a look inside NBA star Devin Booker's Arizona crib, man. But before we do that, make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. That way y'all don't miss any content from here moving forward. And while y'all at it, make sure y'all follow your boy on social media. All links are down below. And without further ado, man, let's take a look and see how my man Devin Booker is living, shall we? What's up, AD? Welcome to the desert. I'm Devin Booker. This is Haven. Come check out the house. Come on, Haven. That this pool is, is the fat. great room. I had a wonderful team help me on this. Clements design team helped me bring this vision to life. The mountains coming in right from outside, oh, so you get fat. beautiful views. And this coffee table took a lot to get in. Uh, it's a big, heavy piece of granite slab. So it was a process getting in here. Fireplaces get used more than you would think in Arizona. You know, the the winters are cold. So, and I'm from Michigan originally, so I grew up around a fire. So I keep the fire on. Come to the living room. That's just so clean. It's so clean and like elegant. If I'm having a team over, I'm having an event at the house. This is usually where we tend to watch any type of game. You know, my team's big. Everybody's usually over 6'5 at least. So this couch fills up pretty quick. The whole entire space I wanted to be inviting. I wanted to be It's kind of got like a, almost like a it's old school a retro house, vibe to it in I a way. I didn't want to just throw modern furniture in here. I wanted to feel collected, feel like pieces came together, some materials came together. Yeah. So when I get home, I like to just lounge, lay down and just kick it. Makes sense. When I have the team over, this bad boy right here gets used the most. We play this little game called Bure on all of our flights. So sometimes after the flight's over, the game carries over to here. But you can also play Uno here. We play spades. We play any type of game. We custom built this table to my liking. Put these nice suede chairs next to it that you know gives it a nice feeling and texture to it. I think the bar next to the poker table go hand in hand. That it's perfect. Bar is That's my fire. trick. I, I don't even drink a couple and drinks that bar and get them going, give them some confidence. A lot of tequila in here. Mm -hmm. That's why y'all boys be missing, man. Lay off the tequila. So here's the kitchen. I don't do too much cooking. Shout out to my chef, Ryan. Prepares unbelievable meals for us all the time. You know, I talk about having the team over a lot. You know, that was kind of my mindset around this house is, you know, make a that place that's inviting. Is, and I like that where kitchen. You, can, you know, talk and chill with each other. And this is one of the areas where, you know, that tends to happen. And, you know, it's very spacious. Two islands in here. The marble, marble top. Very cohesive. I love how they hit off of each other. And some fresh picked limes from the backyard. Green as hell, too. What else you got, my boy? Now we're headed to the dining room. And this is where dinner is served. This is actually my, my seat right here. You know, I have my family over a lot. I have my friends over a lot. And I like to do dinner, you know, as a collective group. I like to sit down. I don't want it to be all over the house. So we keep it in one spot. And these chairs are unbelievable. They have a mid-century vibe. Same with the chandelier, both mid-century. It's a beautiful hint to what I like. As you can see, the wine cellar right off to the right. I'm all over with the wine, to be completely honest. You know, I took a couple trips to Napa Valley. That's where I started. And now I'm just exploring. You know, I have a lot of friends that are into wine, so they put me on to new things. And, you know, I like the process. Like I said earlier, it's about conversation. And, and have some great conversations over some good wine bottles. And last, but obviously not least, uh, this is the James Terrell, probably my favorite piece in the house. And if you stare at it long enough, it starts to look like a floating box. Come on, bro. Done for the day, Haven? <laughs> that art piece was fire. I ain't gonna lie, man. Dev got On some pretty dope stuff. This is where the deals get done. Now, funny thing about this office, used to be my gaming room. So, you know, it, it took a lot for me to grow up and transform this into a proper office, but I'm glad I did it. We started this room with this couch. It's like a vintage Italian leather couch and we built around it. Obviously, you see the strange shaped desk here, piece of art hanging and just the materials like we talked about earlier. You know, it feels warm and cozy and, you know, I feel it's part of maturing, but I did love my gaming setup in here. 
Now, I want to know what that look like, bro, bro. Show us the setup. This is my bedroom. You know, it's keeping the textures, keeping it warm, keeping it grounded. You know, I like to clear my head here, especially when it's time after a long day just to rest and, and ease up a little bit. Obviously, a big staple of this room was the bed. I've never had a bed this big in my life, but I got it custom made. And I don't do much in here but sleep. <laughs> Boy, got kicks for This is my days, closet, and this is my sneaker collection. A lot of people always ask me, how do I go about collecting? I used to be a lot bigger sneakerhead than I am now, to be completely honest. I used to... Wait on release dates. I remember as a kid saving a lot of money up to get any shoe that released at the time, but now I get too many. And you know, the process for me is putting them in storage. So try to keep it at this amount. Yeah, if you can see these ones up top, the white and blue ones, these are some 1985 custom Jordan ones, which are like an art piece to me. That's how I feel about shoes. Here's a, another one right here from 1985. I know they look used and beat down, but gives it a lot of character for me. You know, I don't switch it up very much, as you know, a lot of people know in the sneaker world. Converse is probably my favorite shoe. Yeah, show us the whips, my boy. Show us the whips, my boy. What you got? Oh, he got a lot of them old schools. Devin Booker, Here old we are school in the garage. Guy, bro. He got I'm an a old classic soul. car collector. I think it's a family tradition for me that you know I've take, took on and honed in on. These two right here, I know they look very similar, which my mom doesn't understand, but this is my daily Grand National that I drive day to day, and this is a GNX version. They did only, I think, 547 of these things. So I don't drive it much, but it looks good sitting here. People always ask me what's my, my favorite, and it's like picking your favorite child, you just don't do that. But I'll take you all the way here to the end to show you my favorite. <laughs> This right here is Pretty Penny. This is what I drove the game one of the finals. It's a 59 Impala Ragtop. That baby all original. So high fire. 59. And this is what introduced me to collecting cars. This is my first piece. I got this two years ago now. I found it in Utah. And you know, me and my friends, we, we get the backstories on these cars. And that's where most of my conversation is. My grandpa, I remember going to his house growing up. He'd be underneath this car every time I got there. And you know, I never got that privilege to spend time with him in the garage, but he loves that I'm collecting. And hopefully one day I get a warehouse and even expand even further. I usually keep it Chevy. You know, I have a lot of Impalas. This is a 59. I have a 96. That 96, right though, one. bro. It's the SS this or no? Nah? <laughs> Sheesh. Devin's crib is so like laid back, bro. It's oh, not this even the backyard. like this is out the pool. there like that. Not much that. of a backyard, but I actually use this pool very often, whether it's for recovery or for entertainment. You know, I like how it's set up. You know, it's courtyard style, and you know, I feel like every section Damn, is kind of facing towards the pool. Fat. So, you know, we have a good time out here. Our projector screen, it comes down right over that box over there, and you can watch it from the pool. You can watch it from the hot tub. You can even see it from inside the house. So. You know, it takes up the whole backyard. Once it gets dark, it lights up pretty well. Now you come into the game house. Why all players got that NBA jam? That shit's so raggedy, bro. Let it go. This area used to be a proper guest house with a kitchen and two bedrooms. And we came here, we just blew it all up. We just wanted to make it an inviting, comfortable space. You know, this serves many purpose for us. It's a theater, it's a studio. We play loud music back here. And really, we just chill. This is the hangout. And even though this is a big couch, you'd be surprised how quick it can fill up with a couple seven footers on it. I'm actually not that crazy of a candy eater, but when it's sitting in front of you just like this every single day, I, I dibble and dabble. I'm not gonna lie. This is the pool hall. I don't know if you can tell, I got repping my college with the Big Blue Nation Kentucky pool balls. I mean, I have a competitive team, and we like activities, and we like to gamble a little bit here and there. So between the poker table, this pool table, the video games we play on the screen in there, we have activities to do. So we keep it interesting. We switch it up around here. I could imagine what they putting on those games, bro. I just sit and watch. <laughs> 
let me just pull up and watch, bro, because I can't, I can't put in on a game. I ain't even gonna hold it. His crib is just so like, it's elegant though. It's low key, man. Let me know what you guys think about D Book's crib, man. Me, I, it's not something I expected coming from Booker, but then like. The more he talks about it and, and the more you kind of hear him just explain why each room is set up the way it is. It makes sense, man. Book, is, book seems like a pretty simple guy, but what do you guys think? Drop your answers in the comment section below. Again, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, I'll catch y'all here on the next one. See ya.